What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're in the road to 20,000 subs. Also, make sure to hit the like button because really, bro, we're trying to get this video out there to some people. This build is a rare, rare build. A point forward with contact dunks and Hall of Fame playmaking. What more could you really ask for? Shout out to my dog, PR23 Gaming, man. He actually put me onto this build. You gotta make sure y'all subscribe to him. Make sure y'all go show some love. Link to his channel is in the description. Please get my boy to 10,000 subscribers. This build goes actually crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the, has to be the rarest point forward build. I haven't seen this one in the game ever. So, let's get straight to how to make a build. You wanna go small forward for a point forward, you know, name. You wanna go small forward. You wanna go whatever hand you want. I personally just go left hand because, you know what I'm saying? I, there's a rumor that you get blocked less on your shots and layups when you go left handed. I don't know if it's true, but I've been using left hand since 2K17. For the pie chart, you probably expect that you're pure yellow pie chart but the pie chart you want to go with is actually the yellow blue the yellow blue pie chart is the battery you want to go with you get contact dunks you get hall of fame playmaking you can shoot consistently you get pretty good defense because you're shooting six seven this build is just gonna go actually crazy i ain't gonna lie it's gonna be my iso build right here if y'all are wondering this is gonna be my main iso build i just think you'll enjoy the build way more than a pure yellow pure yellows really just got nerfed so this build right here is tough now for the physical profile, you're gonna go with the first one. There's really no other better one to go, especially since you're a small forward. You're gonna need that speed, so you gotta go with the first patch right here to get the most speed, acceleration, and an actually valid vertical. Now I'm gonna show you guys everything you guys wanna use to upgrade your player. So first things first, we're gonna start off on the finishing side of things. So finishing, you wanna actually uh, make your driving layup not max, but you wanna upgrade your driving layup to an 81. An 81 driving layup is what you wanna go for this build. Don't ask me why. I don't know why you can't do max, but you wanna go to 81 driving layup. For the driving dunk, you want to max that out. Maxing up your driving dunk so you can guarantee that you get contact dunks at some point. Then last but not least for the finishing, you want to upgrade your standing dunk so you get about 12 finishing. For the shooting attributes, you want to go with 12 shooting. So what you're going to do, right, you want to upgrade your three-point shot to the max. Max out your mid-range shot. Your free throw you're going to upgrade as well. And you want to just max out everything. Max out everything for the shooting. My bad. Just, just long story short, max out everything for the shooting. And it's going to give you the bare minimum of 12 shooting badges. You can't go any lower. It's going to give you 11. So you want to go 12 shooting badges. That's what I would do personally. But you can take off shooting if you want and put it on some finishing. But I just want to be a well-rounded build. I want to be able to shoot, drive pretty good, and also play me. Now for the playmaking side, this build gets mad love, you feel what I'm saying? Max out your pass accuracy, your ball handle, you want to max that as well. Um, and you guys see it's a 79, but it's gonna, you're going to be able to get pro dribbles off of it. So upgrade your post control until you have about 24 playmaking. 24 playmaking badges is all you're going to need for this build, honestly. You can go more if you really want to, but I feel like 24 is just perfect. For me, I, I was doing like the badge layout and everything. 24 playmaking is perfect for my playstyle. That's all I really need for this build. The rest of these points are gonna go on the defensive side of things. Now, you guys only get, you guys are gonna get about six defense with this build. You can, if you want to, you can turn down the playmaking and shooting just a little bit so that you end up with more defense. But for me, I just went with 24, um, 6, 12, and 12. You, if you really want to, you can make a pure yellow. I think pure yellows really do get more defense. But I want it to be like well rounded on the offensive end. Six defense, I know it doesn't seem like it's not a lot of badges, honestly. But trust me, bro, you're gonna be straight. You're gonna be taller than most defenders, so it's gonna be harder to score on you. The length, your, your build is really like lengthy and tall so that you don't even have to worry about, you know what I'm saying? So you can get the bare minimum of six defense and I would put the rest on close shot to get 13 finish. That's what I would do personally. Um, you know, and you have three badge boosts to spare to put on whatever you want. Um, I would just put it, I would put it on either your pulse control block, it don't matter. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like six defense is straight. You're going to be straight. You're going to be able to guard all the positions on the court. Um, you know, some people might have like back down punishment, you might versus a post score, but if you're playing at the big position on like the two score, as like, you're versus a glass skinner, you're going to be able to hold up with them. Honestly, you're going to be able to hold up with them. Um, and you're going to be able to ISO against them, all that good stuff. Now for this, um, body shape to go whatever you want. I personally went with Define. Define is a body style I went with just because I wanted to, like, I always go compact and slight. Those are like my two main body styles, right? But I'm going with Define for this build. Not for the height. For the height, you're actually not going to go 6'7 like, you know, your typical point forward. You're actually going to go 6'6. Six, 6'6 six. Six, six is the way for point. This, this pie chart right here, you're going to go 6'6 six, six so you can get pro dribble moves off the rip. Now, for the weight on this build, you want to go um, minimum weight. You want to go minimum weight or the lowest weight you can get 91 speed and 90 acceleration. I'm, I would just went minimum weight. I'm showing sure you guys exactly how I'm in my build. I just went 181, actually, to be honest. I don't know. It didn't really do nothing. But yeah, I would just I would just go 181. Now for the wingspan, now he's a glitch. He's a glitch. That's my boy PR once again. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. This is actually insane. So you guys see, I'm gonna go minimum wingspan for y'all. You guys see I have an 80 dunk and an 85 ball control, right? You guys see how I can't really get content dunks. I can't get all the content dunks at 99 if I do it like that. But if you put it up one, you want you're gonna lose your pro dribble moves off. So you'd want pro dribble moves 
and the ability to get contact dunks, right? So what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna upgrade your wingspan max real quick. So turn it all the way up to an 86. So you guys see it's an 86, right? When you put it back down, you guys see 87 wingspan. I get a, uh, you know, I don't have pro dribbles. Put it right back down. Put it right back down to 78.9. And y'all see, look at, look, 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 look. You're gonna have an 85 ball control and an 81 dunk. Now I know, like before that, it was it was showing an 80 dunk and an 85 ball control. You guys seen it for yourselves. But this glitch right here, I don't know if it works for just this build, but it might be other builds too, like to get an extra plus one driving dunk. I kind of wish I did it on my three point playmaker. But this right here, bro, is gonna change the game. It's just one little tactic to make your, you know, what I'm saying gameplay even better. You you can be going crazy off rip. You feel what I'm saying? So what you want to do? Um, takeover. Me personally, I want playmaking takeover. You can go slashing takeover on a point four. I don't know playmaking takeover on a point four. Just it's giving me. 2k17 vibes you feel what i'm saying slashing take it even bad slashing take goes crazy with this build but i went play make and take just because you know what i'm saying um i just feel like you know i, I mean me personally i wanted to try out play make and take this year anyway and get some ankle breaker clips i already have a build with slashing takes so i was like hey why not let me go let me go play make and take and as you guys can see we got ourselves a point forward now it's a little bit catfish i know the pure yellow is a point forward but this build just goes actually crazy, you feel what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm telling y'all, bro, when I'm done with this build, it's going to be my main ISO build. A 6, a six 7, basically, 6, 7, um, small forward, like, just killing the guards on ISO. I can speed boost, I can shoot threes, I can get contact dunks. What can you not do with this build, man? So, real quick, man, we got to go over the badges. We got to go to the attributes and everything. So, make sure you go 99, you feel what I'm saying? Why would you not test the build at 99? I'm going to show you guys all the attributes, the badges that I went with for this build. These are not confirmed, but these are the badges I plan on going with as of right now. So 13 finishing badges, that's valid, you know what I'm saying? That's not like you no know, like 20 something finishing badges like a um you know the typical slashing playmaker. But I decided to just make it just of my play style. I don't need that many finishing badges in my opinion. I mean it will help, but I just don't think I need that many. So the badge I'm going with, posterizer, hall of fame, limitless takeoff, hall of fame as well. You know what I'm saying? That's bad. You if you guys know, man, you could be able to jump from anywhere, you know what I'm saying? You can jump from the moon. Um next badge, I don't even know. Fast switch is a valid badge. But it's for like standing layups, you know what I'm saying? I might be botting a guard to go quick so I don't get chased down. But I would personally go fearless finisher because you want to be able to drive on big man. Maybe gold and then silver slithery. That's what I would go with right there. I might change them up a little bit like I said. Um, this is just like my first thoughts. I haven't really used like that many finishing badges yet. So this is like my first thoughts. My first contact dunk build. So, you know, this is the patch that I'm thinking about going with. For the shooting man, I actually have more insight on shooting now. Sorry about the people I confused with the uh, shooting badge video. But hot zone, gold for surely. Um, I would go stop and pop, maybe silver or gold, sniper gold, um, and then three more. So I would, mm, chef, the chef has to be a badge. I ain't gonna lie, chef might be on silver or gold. I, I'd probably go gold with this badge. And Deadeye, I feel like Deadeye are blinders. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta be, make sure you balance these badges out. Sniper and hot zone are two great shooting badges, you know what I'm saying? So the badge setup I would personally go with, um, looking back at this, I'd probably go, um, Maybe, maybe like gold chef. Chef is a really good like ISO badge when you're cooking up from three. It's gonna give you a shot boost on your, you know, three pointer from deep. So I feel like chef has to be in the conversation. Maybe um, bronze blinders and gold chef. I feel like this badge setup right here is perfect. Bronze green machines to get that boost when you green consistently. Bronze stop and pop and bronze blinders. I feel like this is a perfect badge setup for me right here. Might change around. We gonna find out though. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all know the badge setup I actually personally gonna end up going with. But this is the badge setup I'm going with right here for now. Now for the playmaking side things this is where this is where you know what i'm saying this build is known for the playmaking right 24 playmaking no kobe what you're going to go with is hall of fame quick first handles for days um i would go hall of fame unpluggable you know what i'm saying make sure you not get ripped you have a lot of playmaking to spare 12 more badges to go so i'll go hyperdrive and quick chain quick chain you know what i'm saying helps you dribble faster and hyperdrive hall of fame as well floor more so i would go hall of fame flashy hall of fame flashy right here maybe you can go like um like take down hyperdrive and put it on bullet passer you know what i'm saying save your badges bail out like just make sure you balance your badges good i don't really know how each of these levels i don't know if all these badges are like hall of fame worthy you know what i'm saying maybe bullet passer but bail out any of these badges but you know make sure i'm gonna space them out like eventually but this is the bad setup like if i'm trying to win the game um i'm gonna go floor general but if i'm trying to like have fun get clips ankle breaker because i want those playmaking takeover clips this year so but if not i'll go floor general and i feel like this badge up right here works perfectly fine like i feel like there's nothing really wrong with this badge up right here bullet passes are a good badge but i feel like bailouts more essential because when you drive and they pick up then you want to be able to make sure you get the pass out and last but not least the defense so the defense is not like you know it's not the highest stat it's not even as a matter of fact it's the least stat i ain't gonna lie but you know, six defense is perfectly fine. If you're gonna be since you're like six, 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 seven, like this build is gonna be able to play defense pretty good. So I would go bronze chase down. Um, I'll go gold, gold clamps or menace. Both of those badges are really, really good. 
And since you have two more playmaking, I would just say Intimidator on Silver, you know, just to keep it safe. But if not, you can put it on like badges like Pick Dodger, Menace, um, Interceptor. Just make sure that, you know what I'm saying, it just depends. Like if you're on the twos, maybe Pick Dodger. Um, on the threes, or like, I don't know, I don't know. You space it out, you can space it out however you want to. This build is not the most defensive build, but you're 6'6", six, six, so you're gonna be able to, you know, have that advantage on height. You won't have to worry about, you know, them scoring on you because you can just chase it down or block it even. You can just put your hands up, they're going to miss. You feel what I'm saying? But that's it for the badges, y'all, and the build. I hope you guys really do enjoy this build as much as I am. I'm your boys grinding this build soon. Don't even get twisted. Make sure to like button, comment down below, subscribe, and share. Let's get 10 likes for another video, bro. 10 likes for another video tomorrow. You already know how we coming, man. Make sure to like button, comment down, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, y'all. Peace.